Uh, I just sat down and filmed me practicing with my guitar, and I suck. But that's okay. It makes me happy. See, what I want to talk about in this video, uh, and I've done most of them really recently, uh, is that, well, playing the guitar is an art. And you know what else is an art? Warfare. Martial arts. Same thing. The term martial means of or pertaining to war or uh, being a soldier. Well, nice thing about it. An art is an expression, it is a form of expression. Martial arts are no different, they are a form of expression. Like any musician, any reader, or any writer, any songwriter, uh, anyone who is learning to paint or draw, anyone who is learning some sort of art, what they are doing is this. They go out and they study the people in the past. They study guys like Bach and Beethoven, uh, Hank Williams Jr., Conway Twitty, uh, Disturbed, um, Jimi Hendrix, all of these people. And somewhere between all these influences, all these people who influence them, they develop their own style. Their own style of painting, their own style of playing the guitar, their own style of uh, writing, their own style of singing, their own style of painting, their own style of drawing. It doesn't matter. Martial arts are fighting. They are arts of fighting. And like any other art, it's an expression. You express yourself through the way you fight. Because of this, there are different styles of fighting, yes. But those different styles of fighting shouldn't be looked at as you must stay with this rigid style of painting only in this way or drawing only in this way. Because if you say that to a person, they're going to look at you like you're crazy because there's so many other ways of doing it. But if you say to a person, you can only fight in this way because this is lineage or this is tradition, they accept that. And I don't know why that is because like an art form, like any art form, Martial arts are about expression. You study the past, you learn from the pa from the masters of the past, and you, you look at what the experts and the famous people with it are doing nowadays, and you somehow, out of all those influences upon you, you pick your influences. You develop your own style based on all the people who have influenced you. It doesn't matter if we're talking... Karate or Kung Fu. MMA or, uh, oh, sorry, I smell guy. Uh, anything else. It doesn't matter if we're talking TMA, MMA, uh, it doesn't matter because it's all an expression, it's all an art form. And that art will change and adapt with the society around it. And trying to hold on to the past doesn't do anything. Long ago, when I was younger and I was studying Jeet Kune Do concepts, there was this really uh, interesting thought to it that. We, uh, the people studying Jeet Kune Do concepts, seen Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do not as a martial art, but as a martial arts philosophy. Yes, he had techniques into it, but the techniques were drawn from his past. Lee was uh, very accepting of other martial arts. It didn't matter what other martial art it was. As long as it was a martial art, it was a way of training, a way of conditioning you. It was a way to make you better. It was something to be looked at. You took from it what you wanted and left behind what you didn't. And you created your own form, your own expression. Now, people who look at Lee's Jeet Kune Do and say, Oh, well, Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do is just Wing Chun mixed with this, this, and this. Well, that's true. Because that was Lee's... Uh, influences upon his expression but for other people your expressions can be different for a person who wrestled in high school their expression of their martial art might be more based on grappling for a uh, guy who likes Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, it might be more on ground fighting for a person who's more into uh, knives it may be more expressed through knife fighting or uh, self-defense with the blade what's interesting about this is that when you look at it and when you accept that martial arts are an expression, you don't get mad when people change the expression. You don't get mad when they aren't your disciples groveling at your feet doing things that you do simply because you do them. They don't care that you change something or modify it to suit your needs because you are carrying out your expression. And it was no different than, say, someone listening to 
Bach and Beethoven and mixing that with their style of uh, music. It is no different than uh, me taking, you know, uh, country music and mixing it with some of the stuff that Jimi Hendrix did and developing my own style from it because I liked both of those and both of those was an influence on me. It's no different than, you know, uh, any other expression in any other art form. The problem is there's two types of art forms. There's the living art and there's the classical art. The classical art is what someone has done years ago, the old masters, the old master painters, the old master uh, musicians. And <clears throat> that lays out a, uh, that is one path to travel. But off that path there are many side paths, many uh, ways that other people have gone on their own. And you can always, always choose to go a different path. But you're always going to carry the influences that you had from the previous path with you. And martial arts should be more about teaching people to do things for themselves than to follow a tradition or to do something only through this or to listen to only to this master or that master. Uh, it gets really interesting when people, uh, a former friend of mine, who I trained with years ago, uh, had a bad habit walking around talking about, yeah, I taught Ron everything he knows. And uh, people would ask me, well, did you train with Danny? And they would say, yeah, I did. And, and But he didn't teach me everything I know. I trained with a lot of other people. And he, he's one of the people that I trained with. And he would get really mad about it because he wanted to be the one who said he taught me everything I know because I had surpassed him in a lot of knowledge going to other masters, other instructors, other people who knew different things. And it wasn't based on one martial art or uh a handful of collectivists of, of martial arts, I would train with guys in Kung Fu, having no rank in Kung Fu, simply to have the experience of training in Kung Fu and seeing their different training forms and adapting their techniques to mine when uh, they meshed well together. It's about creating your own thing. Uh, art is about expression, and when it comes to art, every artist beats to his his or her own drum. They they are expressing themselves. They are creating something from within, and that's what martial arts are about. To me, that's what Jeet Kune Do was about. Uh, when I read Bruce Lee's Tao of Jeet Kune Do for the first time, uh, that was one of the things that stood out to me. He was approaching martial arts not as a martial art as a tradition, but martial arts as a form of expression. And that was one of the things that appealed to me, and got me into the whole uh, study of Jeet Kune Do concepts. And that's a big influence on me on how I think now because I'm looking at helping others to find a way to express themselves. Not necessarily uh, keeping them drawn up in tradition.